Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Terra Luna. Terra Luna going all according to plan. In the last video when we were already starting to turn around here and starting to see that lower high and we broke out of this ascending wedge, I told you that this could already have been the completion of this wave 5. As you might remember from down here, when we were around um, 95 US dollars, I showed you this target area up here. Now that target area was reached. It was missed very, very slightly, but I made you aware when we missed it that this could already have been it because the indicator started to turn around and we formed here this ascending wedge and sometimes you just miss them a little bit um, and that's fine. You know, I think this was already the uptrend. It might be already over. Um, that's how it looks because the way we are coming very, very, uh, we're coming down very impulsively. And so far this is working out, gives me more confidence in this Elliott wave count. So we moved up as expected after we hit this wave four target area. We are moving up into this wave five target area. Yes, we touched, touched it only or missed it very, very slightly as you can see here. Um, very, very slightly, if I make it a bit larger, came very close to it. And, but, but you could already see, and that was, I think, also one of the reasons I mentioned in the last video that we could be turning around, because we saw here, not only on the one hour chart, you see it on the higher time frames as well, but you saw here on the price chart, higher highs, but you saw lower highs on the RSI. So indicating a bearish divergence, indicating a reversal. That is exactly what it's doing. Turning it now further down. And I would expect now in the next move, bear in mind, nothing moves in a straight line but I would expect here in the next move now the price to hit this area here. Now, for everybody who's, who's following here the Elliott wave count, this here was obviously the completion of a wave five, but also of a larger wave one. Consequently, what you're doing now here is an ABC, and this is a wave two, by the way, then. So, um, yeah, let me put that on the chart because this here is the wave one. What you're doing now is we're waiting here now for this wave two to be reached and this would be at the moment as i see it in the target range between 63 and 81 82 dollars that would then be the price range where i expect to get into terra luna again yeah normally what i do the same way as i do it up here um if i set a sell order i would set it slightly below the target error because sometimes it's not 100 percent reached yeah sometimes we have these truncations or um, the price just doesn't get, you know, exactly to the FIP level or whatever. Sometimes prices turn just before they reach a certain FIP or support level. And therefore I set my take profit targets usually a little bit before we reach a profit target and buying areas, I set it a little bit higher. Yeah, I mean, generally we could still move a little bit higher in here, but the way we come down here now, that's it, I think. Also here, the price could theoretically already turn around at $81 or it could move down to 62, 63. That is unfortunately, you can't specify it closer, yeah, um, because of Fibonacci levels and the way how volatile the crypto space actually is. And therefore these Fibonacci levels are also extended. But yeah, as I said, this wave five complete, higher level wave one, now in a wave two in my opinion, and this could then also turn out, or this has to turn out actually, as an ABC pattern. So you look at something like, um, an A, B, C, yeah. So, or make it more clear like that. And you can see already on the chart that, I mean, we are getting close to a turnaround point here at $100. So this is a psychological level. Therefore, I think maybe that wave A here will stop here. Then we could see a bit of upside in a wave B. Then what you can get is probably here a neckline. This might become a head and shoulders pattern. And then you break down and that price target, if we take it out without the Elliott waves, just purely looking at patterns here, that price price target of the breakout point of that head and shoulders pattern would take us directly in the target area. So we've not only got here the Elliott wave count with Fibonacci levels, no, also here the pattern and how it could develop um, would take us into that target area. So very interesting. I'm excited to follow that in the next few days, but you can see that we are hitting here very, or we're getting very close to that $100 level um, and that will be the next support just because this is the previous swing low as well. And typically you get at a hundred dollar level, you get either resistance or support. It's a psychological level and it's a very important one. So, so far Terra Luna all going according to plan. Personally, I try to have a bit more patience. I will wait until this area down here is reached. Bear in mind, nothing moves down in a straight line. 
And um, yeah, he, even on the shorter time frames, we have the downward momentum. The one hour chart shows downside momentum. Um, it just takes a moment here to load the four hour chart for some reason. But I would say we probably have downside momentum here as well. All right, there's the four hour chart. Um, yeah, downward momentum, of course. Here on the four hour, it's slowing down a bit, but I think this is going to continue down because on the one hour, you have downward momentum increasing. So it will probably translate over to the four hour chart. The eight hour chart pushing down very, very strongly and not yet oversold. And on the daily as well, we're far away from being oversold. Only here you now see also that bearish crossover on the daily MACD. So I think there is further downside potential. Can't wait to see if we're really going to reach that wave two target area. That would then be an ideal entry level because from here we have a good chance to turn around and that could then take us to the next higher level in a wave three. Now, to give you a bit of an understanding of um, where this could take us, I, at the moment, it's just a bit of a guesswork because we need to take those FIB levels from the beginning of that wave one, we go all the way to the wave one. Let's say we come to the lower end. Yeah, let's say we come to the lower end of that wave two target area. What would be the price target for the wave three? We look at at least $185 maybe also 262. What crypto sometimes do is also reach the 3.618 FIP extension. That would be $338. I think fairly nice outcome for the wave three, after which you would get another wave four and a wave five to the upside. So it would be a great entry here. For me personally, at least, this is no financial advice and no recommendation. It's only what I'm doing here to enter in the wave two target area. We need, a, or I need a bit more patience for that. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna enter earlier. Um, because in the end, if my scenario doesn't work out, I don't have trust in it. And then I will need to look at the next entry point. So um, yeah, this is currently what I see here on the Terra Luna chart. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.